Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video I'm going to be talking to you about the power of dressing for success in motherhood. As always please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums so they can love their motherhoods too. So when we think about the phrase dressing for success we're often associating that with like business and like power suits and that kind of like strong black and black and we need to wear power shoes and things like this but actually this can impact every area of your life I was very passionate about this when it came to fitness originally because people were like ah oh, you can just work out in anything everyone's got some like scruffy gym kit like lying around somewhere just throw that on and you can go work out and yeah that's great in the early days when you're still like super motivated because you want to get like fit and things but as motivation wanes rocking out and buying yourself some really awesome gym kit like the best quality that you can afford stuff that makes you feel really special that makes you feel really proud one of my biggest problems with people working out in the gym is appalling form and if you're feeling confident you stand up you're like more well, like your posture and everything is better you're so you're actual workout is gonna be better and that's gonna help but it gives you this confidence within yourself if you feel like you're looking your best. Often, getting dressed up drops to our priority list. And I recently spotted that on a Sunday when I get dressed for church and I dressed in my Sunday best, I felt so much better. And the irony being that it made me feel more productive and want to do lots of stuff. And on Sunday, we try not to do lots of stuff. We try to just have family time. I was like, hang on a minute, there's something in this. And I started trying to do Sunday best on every day. Now, this doesn't always mean full hair and makeup, but quite often it does mean that I want to have a shower and at least wash or dry shampoo my hair so it feels fresh and I feel awake. I feel more awake having washed my hair, but drying all this is a bit of a pain in the backside, so it doesn't always happen. Uh, but putting on like a little bit of makeup, I have a very basic makeup routine of like, I have a couple of little, I think they're like psoriasis-y red bits here, put a bit on there. I get my eyelashes done, so that will, or let's done and then I sort of top up my eyebrows and some blusher that's like I feel like I've got makeup on then I feel like I'm not going to look completely hideous um if I leave the house and that's what's important to me you know not care about that like brushing your hair may be enough or having some really like funky hairband ties that you like um the big scarves that wrap with the big bows I know a lot of mums love those having some ones that you really like some special ones of those it's not necessarily getting in like your tight little mini dress and your heels and doing like oh I'm getting out of frame and doing like mum life stuff in that but if you're gonna be in yoga pants and a slouchy jumper have clean ideally not always possible with kids but pick out your best ones and your nice ones and stop just saving stuff for best like i want to give my best every day where possible um feeling like i am dressed for the right occasion i'm comfortable as well so dressing for success for me is comfortable practical and then pretty like in that order um <laughs> got to be comfortable first then got to be practical then got to be like pretty and when I mean pretty like I like how it looks not necessarily what society tells you should be pretty this can be really helped by planning out your clothes in advance very tricky with British weather but to an extent I'm able to do it particularly with my gym kit so it's like out and it's a nice matching set so when I go into the gym I feel like confident already particularly as a woman trying to go into the free weight section can't believe in 2019 this is still an issue but it is but if I feel like I'm looking the bee's knees I'm much more confident walking into that male dominated weight section don't forget this is what resonates most with you you may genuinely not give two hoots about how you are dressed but have a serious check-in with yourself and think about the times when you are most productive when you are most confident when you do get the most done when you are doing things to the best of your ability I find dressing for work even when I'm working at home the content I produce is so much better when I feel like I am dressed in my Sunday best I would love to hear about what dressing for success means to you what is your particular power outfit so please pop that in the comments down below 
I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.